Hello everyone, I'm back again and this time my video lesson will tackle the subject probability and statistics. The topic that I will discuss will be about the random variable and the discrete probability distribution of the values of random variable. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony Laroya. So let us first define what is a random variable. A random variable is a quantitative variable whose value is the result of an event or experiment. When we say event or experiment, we are not talking about beakers or laboratory tools and equipments. We are talking here of an activity wherein out of that act or activity, you will get a result. So that is what we call an event or experiment. It is represented by an uppercase letter such as capital X, Y, or Z. Actually, you may use some other letters, uppercase letters, to represent your random variable. But in mathematics, it is very common to use X, Y, and Z. It is called random because it can take different values. And this, uh, it is also called random variable because it is the result out of a random event. An example would be tossing a coin. So let's say you are more concerned of identifying the number of times that the tail will occur if the coin is tossed four times. So the number of the appearance of the tail will be your random variable. When we toss a coin, the tossing of the coin is what we call the event or the act of getting a result. The possible outcomes are actually the results out of an event. So in tossing a coin, there are two possible outcomes. Either a tail will occur or a head. Now, let us talk about the probability. What is the chance or probability of having a tail? Since in a coin, there are two uh, sides in a coin, a tail and a head. That means there is only one tail out of two possible outcomes. The probability of having a tail would only be equal to 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 or in percentage that is 50%. Same goes for the chance or probability that we're going to have a head. That is 1 over 2 possible outcomes that is equal to 0 0.5 or 50%. This time, this time, let us now consider that we're going to toss three coins and then we're going on, uh, to assign these three coins as the first, second, and third coins. So let us first identify the possible outcomes. Let's say our first coin will appear to be as a tail. The second coin appears as a tail as well. And then the third coin will also result into a tail. So this is our first possible outcome wherein the combinations are tail, tail, and tail. The second possible outcome would be a tail, tail, and head. So the second possible outcome will have now a combination of tail, tail, head. And so on, we will be having this possible outcomes. So all in all, we will be having eight possible outcomes. And these eight possible outcomes are tail, 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 tail head tail head tail tail head 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 tail tail head tail head 
head, head, tail, and lastly, we have head, head, head. Since we're going to assign the random variable as the number of tails that will occur, we will uh, later get the probability of the values of random variable x, the number of tails. So in this event, in just one event, and that is by tossing these three coins at the same time, for just one time, there are eight possible outcomes. This time, we're going to construct a table. This table has two columns, wherein the first column shows the possible outcomes. These are the outcomes that we got from the previous slide. And then the second column will be the value of our random variable x, the number of tails. As you can see, in our first possible outcome, we have tail, tail, tail. And since we are concerned with the number of tails for each possible outcome, therefore, the value for this first possible outcome would be 3 because there are 3 tails for the first possible outcome. And so on, we will identify the number of tails that will appear for each possible outcome. And so for our last possible outcome, which is a combination of 3 heads, there are no tail present, so that is why the value is 0. So let us now construct this what we call the discrete probability distribution of the values of our random variable. So this is a table that shows the values of our random variable, the number that these values appear. So this is the number of random variable tail x. And the next column is the probability of our x or the random variable. So in our previous table, these values for the number of random variable tail x, you have four different values. And these are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So that means there is a value of 0, which means it is possible that there will be no tail that will occur if we're going to toss the three coins. 1 means it is possible that there will be, there can be one tail. 2 means a possibility that two tails may occur. And 3, the possibility that there can be three tails. So how do we get the probability? So first for our number of random variable equal to 0, if we take a look at our table here, the value 0 appears only appeared only once. So out of 8 outcomes, there is only one outcome that has a value of 0 tail. So we put now 1 over 8 possible outcomes. So in decimal, that is 0 0.125 or equal to 12.5%. If we're going to interpret this data or this uh, percentage or probability, we can say that the chance of getting no tail, if we're going to toss these three coins at the same time, is 12.5%. And so, for the value of 1, there are three combinations or possible outcomes wherein there is only one tail present. So that is now 3 out of 8 possible outcomes. So the value is 0 0.375 or 37.5%. So if we're going to interpret this, that means the chance of having a tail, if we're going to toss 3 coins at the same time, is only 37.5% chance. And for having two tails, 
you have also three possible outcomes that has two tails. Three possible outcomes that have two tails. So you also have 3 over 8, the same as with 1, that is 37.5%. And lastly, the probability that 3 tails may occur is also equal to 1 over 8 or equal to 12.5%. So meaning, the chance of having a combination of 3 tails, if you're going to toss these 3 coins at the same time, is only 12.5%. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something new about random variable and the probability distribution of random variables. Hope to see you again next time. See you. God bless.